So I pulled over to fix my window wiper and a dog hopped in my car. I'm not mad at it, but I kind of got to go to work. Is this your home? Is this where you live? You ready to get out? Y'all, the dog don't want to get out my car now. And she don't have a, he, she don't have a collar on. Oh my God. Come on. Look. You get my car all dirty. I think that was the doggy's home because I pulled up into the driveway and I opened the door and they got out and I peeled off before their owner could see me. <laughs> so my story with Cole begins on a Wednesday morning. I was driving to work and it was raining. So I pulled over on a road that I felt was safe and when I did, I noticed there was two dogs. And I was like, oh my gosh, cute doggies. Uh, one was a yellow lab and one was the black uh, lab. And the yellow lab kind of just went off and did his own thing and went up the road. But the black lab ran straight to me, tail wagging, like I'm talking about wagging so hard his whole body was moving. <laughs> Biggest smile on his face. Um, he ran over to me, I pet him, and then he hopped in my car. So at that point, I'm like, Doggy, you have to get out of my car. I gotta go to work. And he just kind of looked at me like, what? Nah. So I'm like, okay, let's find your home. So I drove up the road some and I pulled over and I opened my passenger door. The dog did not get out. He hopped in my driver's seat. So I went over and opened the driver door. And again, he did not get out. He hopped into my passenger seat. So I'm like, well, crap, what am I gonna do? So I started looking around, I started trying to use my investigation skills, my deductive reasoning skills to try to figure out where this dog lived. And that's when I saw the other dog that he was with the yellow lab in a driveway. So let me, I was like, let me pull up into this driveway and see what happens. And when I pulled up to the driveway, I noticed there was other dog items like food and water bowls, dog houses, things like that. So I opened the door and Cole, like, he, you could tell he knew where he was. Like he just looking around like, yeah, this is the place. So the next day I came back to the house just to make sure, you know, one, that I dropped him off at the right place and two, that the dog was okay. And there's two gentlemen outside and I walked up and I, you know, I was like, hey, sorry to bother you, but your dog jumped in my car yesterday. One of the gentlemen let me know that it was actually his son's dog, but the dog was named Cole and that he's actually very friendly, he loves people. And yeah, that's just how the story goes.